so perfect. Yeah. So gay. Say what you wanna say to me now. I wanna wake up with you in the morning. Something kind of fake to me now. I wanna wake up with you. Hello guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a girl again, Miss Flay. Yes, for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. And for the new members, uh, you are so welcome. Kindly consider giving the video a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I will really, really appreciate it. Yeah, so guys, today is another beautiful day here in East Africa, Kenya. And I'm coming live from our home here in East Africa, Kenya, in the, in a, in the famous Nyabohanse village. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, uh, I thank God for this beautiful day. Yeah, it's a chilly day. Actually, there is no sun, there is no rain, there is no like the weather. It's just good. The weather it's so perfect, guys. Yeah, and I hope you are all doing well wherever you guys are watching me from. Yeah, and how are you all doing? How is your morning? How is your evening? How is your lunch? How is your lunch? <laughs> How is your night, guys? Yeah, I hope you're all doing well wherever you're watching this video from. Yeah, so guys, I'm coming live from our home, as I said earlier. Yeah, and this is how everything looks. The home is super, super busy because, guys, construction is still going on, which is so perfect. And also, we are having Simba over here. <laughs> yeah, our home is so lively. It's very lively, and, and guys, I really thank God for every single uh every single change which is taking place in in here in our home and guys thanks thanks to you all you've been always here for us you've been always supporting us through everything yeah so and i want to take this opportunity to thank you all yeah i'm always so grateful guys those that are always supporting us i'm always very grateful guys yeah here is simba simba has just come simba 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 yeah so guys uh in today's video today is gonna be a perfect video because guys as you all know we are finishing up with the gypsum yeah the ceiling board yeah they are almost done they are still repairing the kitchen area yeah so the kitchen area is is all that has remained and guys we are soon moving in and you know while moving in like you have to take care of other things like uh, after the ceiling boards, now we'll have to go to the mid, maybe wardrobes and the wardrobes and also the cupboards for the kitchen. Yeah, so guys, everything we are doing here is step by step. Yeah, and guys, today I'm so grateful because I was able to buy some cutting rods. Yeah, so today, guys, in today's video, we are gonna fix some cutting rods. I don't know if there will be enough, but. I hope they will be in guys i hope you will in a few minutes i'm gonna show you my curtain rods yeah which i just bought for our windows and also i'm waiting for ken who is the the person who is fixing our ceiling board to help me install the curtain rods on the on the windows yes yeah, so guys stay tuned make, sh make sure you watch the video till the end so that you don't miss out this amazing video yeah i always like try so hard to come up with some amazing ideas and also as i always say guys i always love showing you every single progress taking place here in our home because guys you are all here maybe some of you some of you were were here with us when we started like from zero the moment like when this this land was super super bare and you've been here with us until we manage to reach this far yeah that's why uh we always love to update you in every single thing yes yeah, so guys and also your comments keep on dropping me for your girl here yeah, it's with comments negative comments only no negative i mean positive comments only no negativity yeah we are new here and guys that's the way to go yeah so guys yesterday i did a video here in our kitchen garden yesterday actually we did i did a video here and kindly if you haven't checked the video kindly if you haven't checked the video kindly go and check it out it was so amazing and guys yesterday it really rained so much and as you can see the compound is very very green the vegetables have really really grown like they are growing each and every single day 
and the spinach guys guys i'm so sorry to like but uh, let's just call this spinach yeah let's just call them spinach it doesn't matter what kind of names or like if they're but since it's giving me hard problem maybe in remembering the names or maybe trying to differentiate them you have you just have to forgive me guys so i will just call them spinach not that i don't want to learn but you know english is not vegetable like uh i can't remember how they are called yeah i always see the comments but maybe i tend to forget the name so but here we we grew up knowing them they are spinach but it's it's so good knowing that they are different type of spinach so it doesn't matter the the name they are called but i'm so glad but very soon i will just adjust and call them the exact name which they are supposed to be and also they are very they are very looking they are look alike so let's just call them spinach as long as it's a good vegetable it's a healthy vegetable yeah so guys um if you haven't watched the video my the video which i posted yesterday it was so amazing i was doing some work little work here in our kitchen garden together with my husband who was helping me out here yeah, so kindly go and check the video i out and i hope you guys will really really love it yeah so and also guys the the construction of the underground tank is still ongoing it's still ongoing guys as you all see yeah so when we started building the underground tank actually uh we started just like somewhere right over there and people told us that it was too near the toilet and we took your advice guys and decided to maybe push it a little maybe further like in front yeah but right now it's still ongoing and guys you know here in our land it seems like we were really blessed with stones with like huge rocks yeah even right now we are they are digging the the ground for the underground track and imagine guys there's a uh, huge rocks i think two of them inside the hole yeah i don't know if let me go and try and show you give you a closer look what i'm trying to say yeah you see those huge rocks guys yeah yeah so guys that is the main challenge we are having over here whenever we try digging holes it always ends up bad for us there's a lot of rocks in this land that's why we have been so unable to find even to dig even a borehole because whenever we try digging any hole maybe for boreholes or it ends up with the, we end up having so many rocks inside but i hope that one will go through the men over there they are really working they are really trying their best to keep everything going yeah so guys let me just go and show you my curtain rods which i, I bought yeah so see see this is our cast uh, uh aloe vera it was planted the other side of the wall but while they were constructing the wall uh, they decided to migrate it at this place but i can see uh he, it, uh, it is really doing good yeah it has it has really started to to get used to this place yeah and also uh, our lemon grass yeah so guys uh if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly consider subscribing i'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers guys we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers we are just remaining with some few numbers to attain our our target yeah so kindly subscribe to your girl here uh take me to 10,000 subscribers i will really really appreciate yeah so guys this let me show you this is uh see how the living room is done yeah the living room is almost is already done maybe the thing remaining is just painting it yeah so pope africa here and ken v they're still working on the kitchen on, I, <laughs> I was almost saying kitchen garden 
<laughs> yeah, they're still working on the kitchen and I can see it really turning out perfectly well though. Let's wait for the results guys and obviously it will turn out perfect. Pope Africa. Yes. How is the man taking you? Ah, uh, it's good. I can see you are really, really doing good. Yeah. It really suits you a lot. Sure, 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 sure. It's a matter of uh, experiencing new things and also learning. Yeah, and also you know the good thing of uh, being a handman to such maybe what's like this you know maybe one time you have experience yeah. you too yeah so, yeah so one time when i if i want to build my house yes my dream house i'll have a little and also house. you'll be learning you yeah. learn a lot of things which there are things that know. when it comes to my time i'll do it personally yeah i'll yeah, not yeah. hire anyone yeah so, so yeah, that's yeah. guys my name is Prof. africa we are here still we are trying to wind up with the, with the kitchen yeah. And you can see it has already started taking shape. Yeah. So I think probably by, if not today, tomorrow very early in the morning we'll be done. You will be done with the whole yeah. kitchen? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. We are trying to run with time so that at least uh, next week we don't have any excuse at you. So it will be done. It will okay. Be done. Yeah. What's, can we, do you have anything to say? on the yes. camera or you are having trouble in maybe if yeah, you have something are, to say we are running with the, with the, with the time yeah. mm -hmm. okay difficult when speaking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in english in english to fight for if you finish watching this video kindly go and subscribe road to 2000 yeah okay so this is our top hand man here he's See his work, you know. I, I I saw some comment like people have started inquiring for you. They want to you to work for them, which is a good thing. You know this way also. Uh, it's like advertising yeah. your your work, yeah. so people get to see what you, you you do, which is so perfect. Yeah. So guys. Yeah, and also can I just can I just how are you? We are fine. Mhm. Mm Doing, uh, doing a good job over here. Yeah, as always. Yes, and that matter you he want. never disappoints. Yes, yes. So, yeah, I'm seeing he's doing the design. Yeah. No, when he was doing here, yeah. he was slow but perfect. Yeah, that that's how always Ken is. Like he does his things very slow, but guys, trust me. So that's why they always say trust the process. Yeah. So, yeah. It's always advisable to just do it keenly. Yeah, you take your correct. time. Yes. You take your time and yeah. do it perfect. Instead of rushing and uh, doing a bad job. Yeah. The, <laughs> no, people are seeing his work, that's why they're even. Yeah, inquiring. Yeah. Is, it, is it inquiring or inquiry? English. Is not our <laughs> English is not our first language. <laughs> but it's doing a good job. Yeah. For those that are watching this video, we can, me I recommend him if you have maybe a design you want to put in your house. Any any yeah. kind of like job like any, be it yeah. wardrobes, be it yeah. ceiling, be it designing yeah. tiles, yeah. Be, be it uh how do we call them for the whole world whole unit yes. yeah guys because even when yesterday when we were at the, Mabuanze, at the shops mm -hmm. he was telling me he did for a certain lady the design yeah he did for him uh, he put he placed some can how do you call them what the lady you said you placed some uh, the well, hardware is it another uh, electrical, uh, electrical electrical shop, shop. Yeah. those are the boards yes the cabinets for yes shelves for oh the shelves yeah. wow shelves. so uh, that's why it's even working for us to just always go for the best yeah so if you're watching this video you can also support him by watching his videos and subscribing, subscribing to his video. channel yes. and also pop africa yes yeah, for also support me. Yeah, and also me too, guys. <laughs> and also me, guys. Don't forget about <laughs> me over here. I wrote to 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, so guys, kindly support us. We always do appreciate every little effort you guys show us the love and support. Guys, it's on another level. So kindly support. Go and check us out. If and if Simba follow you inside, Ken. 
Sibas followed you inside. <laughs> yeah, so guys, these are the curtain rods which I wanted to show you. Yeah, these are the curtain rods which we just want to. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry for that. Yeah, so these are the curtain rods which you got. Yeah, and we chose the the goldish color because, like, also inside, inside, uh, we still have some goldish, goldish. Yeah, but I hope you will like it. Yeah, so tell me on the comment section, do you love the color which we chose? Yeah, so I'm just waiting for Ken V to finish up with the ceiling, and then now he helps me with the installing them. Yeah, guys. So, but in the meantime. You know, the other day we did cleaning here with Naso, but you know right now people are using the front door too much, so obviously the floor has to be dirty. But before we start fixing the curtain rods, I just want to clean this, the, the sitting room area, so that at least it can be clean. Yeah, so guys, uh, stay tuned, watch the video till the end. Make sure you watch the video till the end, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like the video, like the video image. I like, guys. You know, if you having too many likes on your video, uh, YouTube tends to push it a lot to many people. Yes. So guys, kindly consider liking this video and share the video to your friends and families. I will really, really appreciate. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start with sweeping the the sitting room. Yeah, because you know we can't work in a dirty, like in a messy place. With me, even now, so like cleanliness, it's always a good thing. Yeah, they always say cleanliness is next to godliness. Yeah, so here is my broom. I'll be just using this simple broom to start sweeping inside. Can can I just help me all the camera while I sweep inside while you get story chat? Because I want to fix the curtain rod in this place somehow. Uh, I will just be sweeping, not start a sweeping. But uh, tomorrow, five. Yeah. You want to place there? Um, I came with some curtain rods. Oh. With the sunny curtain rods in these two windows. Babe. Yeah, babe. Just this. In sunny curtain rods, it's not something which is hard. Or, okay. It's not hard. It's what not hard. As long as we are by. Just screwing yes. the. Four times, yeah. and you are good to go. Yeah, so it's not something which is hard. It doesn't even take time. So
Okay, guys, so I'm done sweeping. Yeah, I want to just want to show you the curtain rod. Now to give the room. And before I continue, let me open the windows. Come. It's somehow too hot inside and also the wind, the dust. Yeah, guys, actually, I thought that maybe we could install them right now on the window. Yeah, I was, I thought that maybe we could have installed them right now, but I'm told it really needs, like, it really needs a professional. And uh, also, it takes time. It, I, I actually I thought that it's something which is simple. You just, you just take the hooks and screw it on the wall, but... You know, with me, I, I'm not still used to, I don't know things about construction and I'm so glad I'm learning. Yeah, so I'm learning a lot. I'm told that we can't screw them right now. It needs a professional and also it has to be measured. They have to be measured straight so that they can, not that one is up and one is down. Yeah, which is something which I didn't know. Yeah, so babe. Yeah, yeah actually Nako is the one who told me that they cannot be screwed <laughs> they cannot be installed yeah, what's up guys you know i think uh, the installation of this i'm not that sure but uh, i was told they need maybe a professional yeah and also they can be installed maybe after we have repainted the house because you can see the house places oh. like this yeah you can see it still needs uh, repainting and uh, again, the installation of these uh, curtains, mm -hmm. maybe it requires like uh, a straight line so yeah. that they can be in a uniform position. And also we did not come with uh, the curtains, maybe to measure the, the height. height. Yeah, the height maybe from below. You know, I've seen maybe some people they can put maybe near the gypsum mm -hmm. or it can be below that vent. So at least if now we, we will know the how 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 tall the curtain is now that's when we will we'll install but you've done a good thing yeah to come to show, show the guys the curtain doors so maybe here we can are. unhook can yeah, we can open them yeah maybe we can we can open them and see maybe how i don't know if the gold color is good yeah maybe they can tell us on the comment section guys guys tell us on the comment section what do you think about the color and also how do you guys always install your curtain rods in yeah. your houses yeah, do you hire maybe someone with me i just thought to just take the hook and hook them <laughs> you take the hook yeah. and hook so them on the wall for a let me say maybe for a room that maybe you have rented you can just do it alone. Do it or, just. Or for a local home. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can just do, do it alone. anyhow. Yeah, but for a, a if, modern. Yeah, if you want, if you want maybe a modern setup, you can maybe get someone. Mm -hmm. Or or you can wait for the house now to be fully settled, fully painted, yeah. and then you install the last. Okay. Because you know again, you don't need uh, maybe to. Drill the wall 
Again, tomorrow you are told you need to do the painting, then you remove them. Yeah, it would make holes. Yeah, so even the the bolt will, will be loose. shaking. Yeah, will be loose. Okay. You know, like, you know, like our houses maybe here in the village. There are so many walls. <laughs> there are so many holes yeah, on, so the many walls. Holes on the wall. Oh. So at least this one they need maybe just do it maybe once. Yeah. And you forget about about that. Wow, guys, I, I that we will not lose. Uh, no, we just return them yeah. oh, back when we are done. I hope we will not lose uh, the bolts. some bolts. So let us just check. But we can just remove this one, the, yeah. this one only, because you know, most of them know curtain rods, not that they don't know. But we are just trying to show them. This one I'm seeing is adjusted. Yeah, they are always adjusted. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you can bring that chair with you. Mm -hmm. We do a demonstration. Mm -hmm. You know this one? This one is for... Cutting you put and them. Yeah, you put them two this way. Yeah, so it's for cutting and the shear. The shear comes inside and the cutting outside. Yeah, and also they are always adjustable. So they will look very good once you put them there. You know, one is for the, you know, also the kitchen windows. Let me bring them. So for the installation. This is now how you will, uh, I don't know how to adjust them. Let me show you. Yeah, in this one, it has one inside. So the longer your window, the more you... Yes. you and the other one? Me. And this one, I don't no, know. No, it's also two. There are two inside, yeah. 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 So the longer your window, or maybe, if you want, you know, we can look this way. Instead of screwing, like making cutter rods on the on the door, yeah. you can extend this, and I don't know if it can reach. You can so just, be up to the door. Yeah, yes. I don't know if it can. Reach. This is how they normally. Now you put the you just arrange your curtains, many curtains. So I don't know if you've ever seen the modern houses. Maybe like one this. up to the other. But only for but the from the window, window and the door. But so it's bad. It will be weak. It's better. No. Just place two. Yeah. Two. Yes. Because the window has not extended to the. Yeah. If the window has itself. Yes. The door also itself because also it will not be that strong if you put maybe okay. one. So at the center maybe it will harm. Yeah, yeah. So it's much better. The window. Maybe guys you can let us know in the comment section what you think about about that. Should we? We just use a uh, one or. Uh, Complete yeah. so where this one is placed. But when you get someone who knows really how to install it, they will come and uh, help us in the installation. So usually there are some cutting roads that are black in color, there are some that are this goldish. Silver. Silver, yeah, there's also silver. But they're very good. Yeah, we just chose the gold color. But I think it's a, it's a perfect choice. Yeah. So, so with time, you will find maybe someone who knows uh, maybe interior uh, interior design, yeah. and they will then help we us. Just look for a professional who will help us. Uh, or even us, but now at, at least the, the last. We have a professional. Oh, you have a professional. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the professional we are. We already have the the curtain rod, but actually my plan today was to fit them, but I'm told like I'll have to wait. We have to wait for the house because we have to repaint them, and also yeah. So guys, okay, just stay tuned. Make sure you watch the video. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever we upload any new video, you won't be missing out. Yeah. So these are the curtain rod. Tell me on the comment section. Do you love the color? Remember, we also have the goldish uh, pattern inside our kitchen, and also we try, we try to blend them with some 
with some, how do we call them? I've been trying to blend them with some shears. Not shears. They do the, the flowers, the decos. Yeah, I will try to blend them. Yeah, so this color is just perfectly okay. And also the for the curtains, the curtains which we bought also have some patches of gold. Yes, yeah, so which is not a bad idea. Yeah, so guys, this is all and just stay tuned as I said. So yeah, so guys, these are the curtains. Yeah, and the house is still ongoing and as I can see he's smearing the gypsum board. Yeah, he is almost done. Yeah guys, so that's all. Yeah, and I'd already showed you the stone but I didn't give you a closer view. See how huge there's a huge rock inside. But as I said, I hope everything will be fine. And also uh, I don't know if this tree over here will temper with the underground tank yeah but i really really love this tree because you know when you're inside the bedroom when you when you, when you are inside the bedroom at least when you open the window it brings some cool breeze yeah and guys i really love this tree so much but nasta was telling me that someone told him that he has to cut off this tree but guys tell me on the comment section what do you think i kind of love this tree and guys it has really really grown this far only to be cut that's what that's not really fair yeah i really love it and also it brings a good breeze inside the bedroom amuruga what are you doing uh, tell us what you're doing okay oh the other side uh, Oh wow guys, that's nice. Nasa has been also trying to remove this excess sand from here and taking it to other place. Yeah, so you know this this is a very good idea because when you leave it here, it won't be that good, it won't show a nice picture. So the the soil, I don't know if it's a sand, the sand has to be removed from this place so that at least it can um, it can like it's so that it can remain very flat yeah so and also simba 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 say something <laughs> simba <laughs> simba is angry are you hungry <laughs> you know the good thing with Sim our simba over here he eats anything and like the dogs there uh, 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 nasto recently came with some dogs over here those ones, you know, you treat them like your own babies. You cook the, for them, you buy them food from the supermarket. But with our Simba here, this is a good thing of having a local dog. But this, our dog, uh, like Simba, I don't think if it's a normal breed, breed because it's very huge, guys. And whenever we walk with it on the road, people are like, why wow, this dog is so huge? This dog is very big. Yeah, it's a good breed, but the good thing, Simba eats anything yeah so guys and also we are having another amazing project on the gate yeah we i don't know what's gonna take place uh in the front gate but soon i'm gonna show you yeah soon i'll be showing i will be showing you i think they are trying to levelize the gate area so that and then now they pour the cement mix with the the ballast yeah because you know at the gate area in the gate area like uh when it rains there's too much sand over there so when you walk uh you can you might as fall down as well yeah so they are trying to fix let me just go and show you guys what they are doing over here in the gates wow guys our kitchen garden our kitchen garden we will soon fence our kitchen garden we'll just get there yeah we are just trying to do things step by step little, little by little no pressure no rush and yeah guys so this soil uh it's being removed from, from this place yeah now let me go and show you where it's taken yeah 
also Muruga told us earlier that this soil they are using to it to level is this other side yeah so this is the place this is the area where we are levelizing wow yeah so this is where oh yeah yeah oh okay wow yeah so and what about you know we had already planted grass here guys we had already planted grass here so this will be all for nothing <laughs> you see we had already planted some grass here i nasso and yeyo but maybe they will come out from the soil <laughs> i don't think so yeah so we uh, Moruge is telling me that they just decided to start with the back back end now when they go in the field and how about this borehole here oh yeah guys you know there is a hole here as i said earlier we've been digging so many holes but luckily and luckily we we end up not finding water we just find huge rocks so we leave them but but it's safely sealed with those uh timbers on top yeah so it's much safer the uh, someone cannot fall down accidentally yeah and guys i always love showing these flowers because they are really really doing good each and every day yeah and also this backside uh we are still looking for people who, who really know how to build an outside kitchen but our masons told us that they can try yeah because as i always say like it's always hard cooking while bending and also we find always so many comments telling us that we should build one of the modern just a good kitchen yeah so we are still working on it and others and as i said like we always need to do things little by little slowly by slowly you know we can't do or everything at the same time but your support we really really guarantee your support thank you so much and guys you know this place i think what they are doing here what they are doing over there is what they did here you know this place used to be very slanty and see how the level lies it and now it's really really okay yeah so i think that's why they are removing the soil on this other side yeah as muruga is doing over there yeah so they are taking all the soils to that corner to levelize it until it becomes this way which is so good and also guys you know this one was the was the was the latest borehole we we were really digging i don't know how it ended i don't know how it, its story ended but i think i think it started raining and the person who was digging it just just left and also you know there was a rock inside yeah and you know you can't dig holes you can't continue digging holes when it's rainy seasons because when it rains water collects inside the borehole so it's 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 uh, it's even much harder to to continue digging but with the underground water tank uh, actually it was a it was like a demand from people people used to were telling us that we should try an underground tank like one for mayuguno and guys here it is we are now trying to work on it but even though there is rock inside i know eventually we'll get around it yeah there's nothing which is impossible and i was looking at this oh it's dried oh my god i wonder, I wonder why this one dried yet it's rainy season i think it's because of this big tree you know they always say like maybe this one is drinking all the water from it you know they are competing yeah but these other ones they there is this other one which is just okay this one you said this one is okay but the other one just 
decided to dry up i don't know why and guys we haven't uh this is the house dog house which we built yeah this is the dog house which we built it's so good and it's so spacious and you know what guys i was even thinking that maybe we can now uh, we can build a rabbit house maybe on top of this or maybe just up somewhere yeah a rabbit house because i remember when we we were little i remember we used to have so many rabbits back in our home we had we used to have so many rabbits and guys when we move in here in our home i really want us to have like so many pets as possible like my wish we have dog we have dogs chicken will be starting the project of building a kitchen house house very soon yeah i just want to i want to like i want to how do i say it i want to keep many chickens also yeah and maybe how do there is this there is this bird it has it's black it's gray in color and it has patches white dotted white yeah we'll look for that too my mother my my parents have it back in our home maybe one day if i go visit them i will borrow one from them and come and keep it and also rabbits yeah so it will be a full home with the different animals around yeah and our home will be very lively guys yeah so everything will be updating you in everything we do whatever we do guys we always remember to show you because your support your support is is all that matters because you guys have been with us throughout and i pray that we, you will continue being with us and, and don't leave us behind guys yeah let me go and show you what i wanted to show you yeah sorry for the interruption yeah actually i was about to go and show you something uh which we are build, building here at the gate in the front gate yeah yeah so here we are the men are still working and they are right now ready to mix the cement with the sand and these ballast yeah so they've been they've been digging this place and removing the excess soil which were here and taking it to the other side over there yeah so i i think they are trying to pour ballast i don't know how is it's called but something like this to, to at least make this get good because you know like uh it it was somehow raised raised as this place over here guys let me just show you this place was somehow raised this way but they now remove the the topsoil and now they want to pour the cement mixed with the with the cement to to make this place to make a, this place at least uh, actually guys i don't know how to explain it because you know i'm not used to construction thing yeah okay what are they making over here the slab oh. the gate, so that they because this place was raised oh. so they are digging it to remove the soil yeah and put the slab so that uh, the sand particles you're seeing doesn't affect the rail oh because you know this is uh sliding gate oh and yeah it has some wheels so yeah. the more it uh, it has sands along the rail okay. it wears out oh so wow. to prevent those they are putting the slab then they'll do the finishing part of it very well oh so it, uh, yes well wow, guys that's also one of the reasons just taking care of uh, uh, whatever you have yeah especially now that we have a very beautiful gate yeah and the prevention is always better than cure so it's better to prevent any damage that might occur yeah yeah so that's why they're doing it. <coughs> wow guys you, thank you you know with me it was giving me hard time to explain i didn't know what was taking place over here but guys yeah so that's what we are doing uh there at the gate yeah so i was saying like i saw a comment actually someone told was telling me that 
how about to build yayo his house we would like wish to build him a house but guys we are we, we we really want to we really need to be doing our things like slowly by slowly we can't be doing everything at the same time yeah so guys if you see us we haven't done anything yet and also you know sometimes you might be uh you might be financially damaged like you are spending too much you do this you do that you, so sometimes you have to do things little by little yeah so to that person who commented that we should be building a, a small house maybe you can send us money and see if you will we won't build him the house so guys if you see us you are not doing something know that we will really love to do it but we can't do everything at the same time yeah so try to be always positive yeah we are only humans like we are just trying to to use whatever we are having yeah so no rush no pressure yeah so that's all we are uh happening at the gate that's all uh we are doing there while uh, i don't know for the underground yeah and guys i hope you, you enjoyed the video yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and give the video a like if you haven't turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload any video there's still more videos coming soon there are so many videos we are still having over here yeah so kindly consider turning on the notification bell so that whenever we upload any video whenever i upload any video you won't be you won't be like it won't pass you and also subscribe subscribe to the channel not to 10,000 subscribers guys hey, the sun i think the sun now it's it's too much and i feel like i need to drink some water yeah that's why you see me like straining to talk but i'm just trying my best i'm because you know we are here for one another you guys have been showing us love and support those that are always positive to us thank you so much may god continue blessing you and abundantly and i hope you are safe stay safe wherever you are watching this video from always con always remember always remember to pray for us to keep on the positive vibes and guys i'm ending my video right now right now yeah and all i want to say right now is bye bye guys see you in my next video and take care of yourself wherever you are watching this video from so bye bye